What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, it's my favorite time of the year, talk like a pirate day, naval news, let's get into it. Oh! I did the AKW news each and every week, I'm gonna be honest, most weeks it's not very exciting, this is not one of those not very exciting weeks, it's the exact opposite, let's get into it. Adventure Quest turning itself into a pirate video game in September is what happens every September. So there will be a pirate themed monthly package confirmed by Elena. That's what this is from Arnix. So or I, I probably always say that artist's name wrong. I like his art. I probably always mispronounce his name and it sounds like Arnix whenever I say it too. So there is the monthly package for September. There it is. Also uh, in the comment section or whatever you call this, the replies on the tweet. Uh, Vulcan's Naval is already being considered for this year. If we go forward, we'll announce on the side notes. And that was because Arthur asked if Vulcan's Naval was going to be something that we would see this year as one of the two navels they normally do. Last year we got three navels, but one of them was just a recolor. So that kind of doesn't count. But you usually get two navels a year and two pirate captains a year. More on that later. So as we move on to the next tweet uh, here. Uh, it's not a naval, this is a September upgrade bonus, and I was asking about this, of course, that, that's Elena confirming that that's the upgrade bonus, in case you can't take my word for it. Here are the navels that Vulcan has worked on that were never in the game, so yeah, one on the left, one on the right, both different, of course. I like this one on the right better, uh, I think this one's too green, not a big fan, this one's more neutral, kind of grayish, with it does still have green tones to it, but it's not as, uh, prominent as it is in this one so i would prefer this one to be in game it'd be really cool if that orange was color custom on there too and now if i can't get a full color custom classic naval a little bit of color custom would be nice on a naval um elena did say that the paladin naval we talked about earlier i forgot to include this one i was talking about the paladin naval was going to be more of a classical themed naval like more of the classic like the original navels so we'll see what that paladin naval looks like it'll probably be in a news video in the future on this channel so stick around for that, of course. Uh, just finished up plans with Mehmet for this year's Kaiju Pirate Captain. Think giant Pacific Rim monster in the middle of the ocean. So I looked up Kaiju, and if you don't know what Pirate Captain are, what Pirate Captain armor is, then this is what it is: female version, male version, right there. Uh, they do three textures of that every year, of course. Uh, I think they do two of them. I think it's two, same as the naval. Uh, if you don't know what kaiju is, I Google image searched it because I didn't know either. Uh, that's what I got. Uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of Google images. I think that's from the Pacific Rim movie. I never saw the movie. I probably should though. Uh, I heard it was a pretty good movie. So uh, you're going to get a uh, pirate captain based off of that. Or not that, but something similar to that, you know? Sort of a sea monster. Kind of can't wait to see what that looks like very interesting and last bit of pirate news talk like a pirate day news for this video is that Bido is working on some swords it looks like um they look by the shape they look pretty cool hopefully we'll see those in game all right so now that we're not talking about things that are coming out in september let's talk about some things that are coming out tomorrow uh we're having a limited quantity shop if you don't know what that is uh, you go to a separate website, which I'll leave the link to the limited quantity shop in the description of this video So you guys can bookmark that for when the limited quantity shop goes live, which will be tomorrow uh, The there's items in the shop you can buy with in-game gold or adventure coins and those items Have a limited quantity. So there's only a certain amount of them. Normally they don't sell out uh, Normally they overstock them a little bit So you should be able to get anything you want out of those shops but once the certain quantity of them is sold, they're rare and they're no longer available. I think they're actually doing restocks for this one. Uh, you can go look that up on the sign notes or wherever that's posted to figure out where the restocks are. I think it'll be on the website that I'll leave a link to in the description. Also, if you want to know when the restocks will be in the initial stock. Uh, the initial stock is normally larger than the restock. So uh, your best chance of getting the items is, will be at the initial stock or one of the later restocks. Normally, the first restock will instantly sell out as well as the initial stock but the initial stock will take a little bit longer to sell out so that's normally how it works if you want some advice on how the limited coin shop works and this set will be 1k ac in the limited coin shop and it'd be nice to get a scarf only version of that uh there will be a nolgaf pet which will give you a quest 
or not a quest, it'll open up the diamond shop, the Nolgath diamond shop uh, that's from the Nolgath war. So there's also going to be a toy pet with a few weapons uh, for non-members. This one is for previous members or current members, anyone that's ever upgraded their account to membership. And this one's ACs, like I already said. That is that for the Lunar Coin Shop. And here's the sign I was post saying that it's going to have the Nolgath Diamond Merge Shop on it. All right. And uh, here's the Lunar Coin Shop. Uh, no images yet, but we do have the prices and the initial quantities of 10,000 a piece, except for the Elemental Summoner, the 1k AC one. There will only be 1k of those, but I those that I might actually sell out. That Yeah, that'll probably sell out. I would hope uh, and last but not least rumor slash unconfirmed slash please don't ask me when the vampire class is coming out <laughs> I make I made a few videos on monster hunter class and that class isn't out yet I don't know where it is please stop asking me about it I will put that in a news video if I we ever do get more information on monster hunter but deadly ass um, about Mogulween and if there was going to be a or made a suggestion about a vampire class and Elena responded with that might work I will discuss that idea with the team so that's like very small chance that'll actually happen but could see a vampire class from Mogulween that'd be a pretty cool I would I would like to see that so that is all the news I have I look for news on Adventure Quest 3D and other than the fact that they're revamping the character customization in the game like allowing you to change your eye color lip color all that sort of stuff there's not really a lot of news for adventure quest 3d but i'm sure they're chugging along with that game as well as adventure quest world so that's all the news we have for this week like the video if you liked the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already can't wait to see some more news and i can't wait to share it with you guys here um we'll be streaming tomorrow the limited coin shop will be streaming when that unlocks and also doing the event tomorrow which is another seven deadly dragons event i don't know it's part two of the sloth dragon i don't know what they're gonna do for a second part and uh, there was a designer that was post saying that a lot of staff was on vacation or sick right now so i, I don't know if it's even gonna be a good event tomorrow but we'll see tomorrow i guess i'll hang out with you guys tomorrow on stream and uh yeah thank you for watching again and i'll see you guys all in the next one have a great week have a good weekend let's start tomorrow because friday and i'll see you guys in the next one peace Oh yeah, check, check out my Twitch. I'll probably be live there after the video's up. Peace.